welcome welcome to supreme realization today's topic is something truly fascinating it's out of the box thinking what exactly is it what is out of the box thinking well let's dive into it see out of the box thinking is like tapping into the purest form of observation it is a mindset devoid of preconceived notions a mental space where creativity knows no bounds think about it when we are mindful and thoughtful we create realities based on what we know in other words we create visualizations and imaginations limited to our perceptive memory but in observation there are no limitations take language acquisition for example as infants we learned our mother tongue through sheer observation without being confined to perceptive memories of alphabets and grammar and sentence structure now as perceptive adults we understand the rules of a language yet learning a new language takes forever why because the power of observation lies in transcending our perceptive intelligence and embracing the mind of a child let me say this again because the power of observation lies in the transcendence of our perceptive intelligence and embracing the mind of a child that is why every scripture in any religion talks elaborately about the mind of a child nonetheless the depth of this mystery is often misinterpreted by perceptive minds well while there are proven techniques of strategic thinking such as visualization and imagination they often originate from perceptive minds see systems created from such techniques are always subject to continuous improvement on the other hand creations born from pure observation like those of tesla da vinci mozart they stand the test of time that is the level of out of the box thinking we should aim for with this level of thinking we can go after comprehensive scientific discoveries create systems and products in any endeavor that would withstand the test of time so how do we transform observed realities into creatively applicable models well enter synchronicity a concept of carl jung but here is the twist it is not just about ordered realities it is about connecting universal elements through emotions allowing freedom to shape the order in our observation let's go deeper into this see if we model human philosophy and nature based on prey and predator nature in the animal kingdom all of us will strive to adopt a predator model to compete overwhelm and subdue fellow humans to control and manage 
Even the systems we create would incorporate such orders and control mechanisms. We will also develop systems and management models to manage the exceptions in the systems we create. Because these are not natural systems. Albeit, there are other natures exist, such as birds and plants kingdom, for instance. In this universe, systems don't exist to manage the dynamics of prey and predator. There is no control and specific order or exception management. But there is an apparent degree of freedom. Even in such freedom, there is a natural order created by freedom itself. Well, let's think about it. Even in such freedom, there is a natural order created by freedom itself. This is an important consideration to hold on to. This natural order is not created by way of elements and components coalescing and connecting in a Newtonian order, in a Newtonian material order, but by way of conscious energy that negotiates and connects with particles, elements and components. It is not a matter of us engineering a material order in which matters are forced to connect in a Newtonian order but allowing matters to naturally evolve as it happens in a natural order. See, synchronicity, as defined by Carl Jung, is very extensive. Except Jung suggests various realities that are still limited to our perceptive mind. See, in the quantum world we exist in, Success depends on transcending limitations. For instance, Jung alludes to a presence of familiar reality as synchronicity in our lives. Limited minds often interpret this as a deja vu or, or memories of a previous life or outer body experiences, etc. So be it. But the truth is, these realities occur at times when we are in a meditation or in a contemplative state or we are doing natural things. It really doesn't have to come out of a, a meditative order. But the synchronicity occurs at a time we don't expect. These realities are meant for us to recreate them as systems if we strive to do so. In our observations, we will come across synchronicity experiences all the time. That is what the reality of out-of-the-box observation is all about. Except, we must not jump into intellectually interpreting synchronicity experiences. Non-perceptive observation is not interested in orders, but emotions. In other words, witness the emotions in the synchronicity experience itself. The mystery is in how emotions connect elements and yet create a natural order of reality that is not defined and structured but evolved in absolute freedom. It might sound complex, but cultivating the mind of a child is the key. See, as the scripture says in Matthew 11.25, it says, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, and yet 
reveal them to little children see it is about embracing that childlike wonder unlocking the secrets of true out of the box thinking and there you have it folks out of the box thinking is not just a concept it is a manifestation of absolute inner freedom a way of observing and creating realities without limitations thank you if you enjoyed this exploration don't forget to like it subscribe it comment on it i would love to hear what you have to say and hit the notification bell until next time keep contemplating try to experience the mind of the child that you still got it you still have it thank you so much god bless you